criminals back on the streets. Hello, everybody. This is, um... This is one of the last pictures that, um... That I have of, um... the last picture that that I have of my sister and brothers it's the last picture that I've got of them of my sister that's her sitting on the bed right there that's my sister that's her right there um, the one sitting on the bed there um, she's going through a lot right now in my life and um, the biggest thing I wish I could hear is uh, my oldest sister. I wish I could hear her voice and talk to her. I talked to her today um, at the hospital or on what do you call that video chat. But my brother, um, I haven't talked to him by phone in over a year. Um, so... Um, it just makes me wonder a lot. I don't know. I don't know what I've done. You know, I, I feel like a loser because, you know, I try to call my brother. I try to call him today. And um, I just feel like I'm like an outcast or something. Like, let's be real. I've tried to, I try to call my brother um, a number that I was given and... Nobody answers. You know, I'm visually impaired. I don't, you know, I'm not really good at texting and all of that. I want to hear my brother's voice and, 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 and uh, my sister and be able to call her. And I can't because I don't have her phone number. And um, my brother, I don't have his phone number. I've uh, tried to contact them, contact him, excuse me, through Messenger. But that's not a phone. I don't. I don't know what that is. It's not a phone number. I don't know anything about Messenger. But you know, everybody it seems to be busy and working and whatever. I, I couldn't explain why or whatever. You know, somebody asked me, "Well, how come you haven't heard from your brother in over a year?" I don't know. You know, but even when I was up there, I wanted to see my brother. Nope. So I went back to Fort Worth. You know, and I just feel like everything, you know, this is my family right here. My, my mom had four kids. My sister Frances bound my brother and me. And um, I haven't, you know, I don't know why. Like I told somebody, I just, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm going through a lot. Of, you know, um, I just feel alone right now. I feel hopeless right now. I feel that my, you know, that, you know, I know my family loves me. I know they do. I know my sister Frances, she, she works. I know that. She has a job. Just very depressed because um, I want to do the best that I can. I, I miss, you know, talking to my brother. I know he's busy. So I, I couldn't, like I told that person that had asked me, I don't know. I just know my brother is busy and stuff and has his own life. I just want to hear my brother's voice. I don't even know if he gets the, the messages that I send in Messenger. He never um, replies back or types back anything. So I'm going to assume, no, he does not get those messages. Because he never replies back. Um, you know, I'm visually impaired. I don't got time to try to figure out this and that. I, you know, I don't have good vision in my life. Deal with a lot of things that. I sit here and wonder what my life is going to be and, you know, and how my sister did help me. My sister Bam helped me 
Um, as best she could, she helped me with money and stuff as best she could. My sister did. My sister bound. Sure did. But I'm just, I'm just depressed. I'm very, you know, I just feel very depressed, and I want to hear my brother's voice, and don't know his phone number. Don't have a phone number for him. Don't know my sister's phone number. Everybody's got my sister's phone number but me. So, I just sometimes question in this world why am I here? Because nothing is working for me. I just don't know how to handle all of this stuff. Hello to you. I'm waving at you. See you up there. That's my sister right there. That's them. I don't know how to deal with all that. Don't know how to deal with everything all at once. Someone asked me, how do you have all this at once? Let's explain. I lost my cousin, for those who may not know. Lost my grandmother, for those who may not know. Lost my sister. And got kicked out of Special Olympics. There's so much going on in my life. That is bad that I ask God, why me? Why is it that, you know, why is it that, you know, I call my brother and I get no answer. Why is it that, why is it, you know, why is it that when I reach out to people, I get no answer, and this is well before my sister's death. Um, you know, I've tried to call my brother on like a messenger thing. I don't know. Just very depressed. And when I go up to Dallas, I'm not going to be talking about nothing but my sister and coming home. I ain't going to be talking about nothing else, nothing about my life, none of that. Because people, it's, it's not going to be a time to celebrate and talk about nothing good. I'll just say that. I'm going to my sister's funeral, and I'm coming home. Going to her funeral, and I want to go home the same day because I'm, I don't know. It's very stressful. All I can do is try, and that's all I did is try. My brother got stuff going on in his life, and I understand that he has jobs, but, man, I'm your sister. Talk to everybody else but me. I'm hurt. I don't know what to do. It's like, man, like I told my uncle, I, I try. All you can do is try in this world. And how long do I have to keep trying? How long do I have to keep living with all these problems and things that everything that I try to do in my own life, even my own life, Forget other people's lives. My life. Nothing has ever worked out for me. Somebody told me that I... Hello, praying. Thank you. I see you. There you go. Um, There you go. Says, hello, praying. It's just tough. It's just tough when you don't get to hear your own family members' voices. I'm visually impaired, so it means a lot to me to hear somebody's voice. By phone, even if I don't see your face, and it's hard because I see her tonight and question the purpose of living. I sit here tonight and question that because nothing has ever happened financially positive in my life. I haven't been able to contribute or help my own family. In any way, because of my financial issues and other things, it's been difficult at best trying to find work or other things in the middle of a pandemic. And I ask God, why me? I sit here and wonder about a lot in my life. And when am I going to have certain opportunities in my life financially to be able to take care of myself? When am I going to no longer struggle to where I'm depending on other people and governments? When is it going to be a day that I no longer have to say that I am disabled? When will it be a day where I'm no longer again having to deal 
with negative things? When will there be a day that I will have peace in my life? I have not. Not had any kind of peace in my life over the last couple of years. I have not heard. You know, I, I'm very... No, I just don't know what to do as a person. I have not really heard, like I said, my brother's voice in over a year, except for once, and that was it. Once or twice, that was it. I haven't heard from my sister because she works, and that's understandable. My sister works. You can't call people on jobs and all that. They work. You know, but I try to make time out of my life to try to call and talk to people. No, I don't have a car. I don't have a way to get there. I can't just come see y'all when I want to. And, you know, some of my family, they live. I can't even get to you. Ain't no bus service there, even if I wanted to go. It's the way it goes. I just feel hopeless as a person and just don't know. Not here to bash nobody or none of that. I'm just saying, for my life, I feel very depressed tonight. Very depressed because I'm going to miss my sister again. My sister, I can pick the phone up and talk to her whenever I wanted. And I knew she would answer the phone. But my brother, it's not like that. I can't just pick the phone up and talk to him because he don't answer. Why? I do not know. I know he has a job and stuff like that. And I'm going to leave it at that. He has a job. You know, I don't live in Dallas. I don't know. I just know that when I go to Dallas, I'm there for my sister and that's it, and I'm coming home. And um, it's hard. It's hard when um, I'm going to miss my sister really bad. I'm going to miss my sister a lot. <sighs> says I know you're feeling amen going to miss my sister a lot because she was the one that when I was going through stuff I was able to talk to didn't talk to anybody else they're busy They're busy. I'm very depressed. It's very depressing. That's why, you know, people say, well, why, why don't you call? I have, and I stopped calling because I realized that he don't answer the phone. What you what, Like, people, what you want me to do? I'm depressed. And I just ask God, how much more can I handle as a person, it seems like every time I try to get up or do something good in my life or try to, you know, nothing ever good happens for my life. Nothing good happens for me. I can't name one good thing in my life that has happened for me this year. Did I get money? Nope. Do I have a job? Nope. No, I don't. I don't have a job. I live on government programs. All of it. My brother does not. My sister does not. My oldest sister does not. I feel like a loser compared to them. I feel like I'm not good enough. Can't do nothing to provide for myself. It just everything all at once. It just makes me feel like a loser as a person. When you're not able to provide for yourself or help other people, 
If I was wealthy, you right, I would help my brother and sisters. My siblings, yeah. You're right. It's, you know, it's hard, man. Somebody said, praying for you, thank you. It's not a lie. It's, it's hard. Nobody. It's hard when you can't hear your brother's voice. It's hard when your oldest sister can't talk to you. Take that shit hard. It's hard. And when I come up there Friday, I'm not want to talk about all that. I just want to talk about my sister and then come home. Police rescued two young boys who spent days in their home alone with their deceased mother. Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. It's hard. When it's really, really hard and um, says sorry for your loss. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just very depressed. Like, I've never been so, like, depressed in my life. Never been so depressed except for when my grandmother died, my cousin died. Um, you know, a death is, is a big deal. And then the third thing uh, is being kicked out of Special Olympics. I, it just seems like I haven't had time to unwind or nothing. And stress kills you. Stress will kill you. Today, um, I've dealt with pains and stuff. You know, my head. Stress the hell out. You start to just wonder about a lot of stuff in this life and being disabled, I, I try to figure out what purpose do I have here on this earth if I cannot provide for myself, which is bad and embarrassing to be my age, and not being able to provide for yourself financially and stand on your own two feet. It's just a lot going on all at once, and you know that you want better and try to fight for better, and I do. I want to be able to help my brother and my sister that are here and can't do that. I can't do that because I don't got a lot of money. You need money in this world. You need money in this world. And that's another thing. I don't ask people for money. Even my own family, I don't ask them for nothing. Because I know that they have to take care of children. People ask me, well, how come? No, they got to take care of kids. I ain't never asked my family for money. I've begged for money on the side of the road while I'm here. I've done that. But I have not. Uh, I haven't asked my family for money or anybody, really. So, you know, it's tough right now, and I'm dealing with a lot. I really don't know what to do or say. It's just hard right now, and I'm just depressed. Because you try and say, okay, what what can I do? And I can't do nothing financially, and that's what hurts. I saw a GoFundMe. I can't even contribute nothing because I don't have hardly any money myself. I don't have no money myself. I'm very depressed. Very, very depressed. My oldest sister can't talk to me or whatever. They work. My brother can't talk to me because he works. And that's called life. And that's all I can say. That's life. And... I just, in my life, wonder about, okay, why am I here? What is my purpose? And that's what I'll be asking God all this week. What, what is my purpose here on this earth? What is, what is, what is, what is my purpose? What is the reason? 
because everything that I have done so far has not gotten me paid. I've walked in the heat trying to sell masks or PPE equipment. Don't get me paid. Tried to find jobs that can actually pay my bills. Walmart ain't good enough. Can't pay my bills on its own. I ask God, why me? Why am I stuck on this earth with a disability and can't even find jobs because a lot of people don't hire folks with disabilities. I deal with a lot in my life that I just cannot overcome. You know, medical or disabilities, it's hard to overcome stuff when you... Um, when you're disabled, I don't know what to tell people. I'm visually impaired. I just want to hear the voices of my family, my mother. So the state allows the high schools to be in hybrid scheduling. Um, haven't really heard from my own mom either. Um, not because she doesn't want to. I think she also has a job. So. It's hard out here, y'all. It's not easy. It's very, it's very depressing. I feel very hopeless as a person. Nobody can tell me how to grieve or what to grieve about. I miss hearing my brother's voice, and I miss hearing my sister's voice. And that's why I'm grieving, because I haven't really heard their voices. Haven't. I have not heard from them haven't heard from them and I don't know what to say I see you waving at you my sister is no longer with us and I just feel very depressed and knowing that financially if I could have been there or whatever but it just seems like in my life, nothing ever works out in this life for me. And I've tried. I've tried to make it in this life. And it's hard. I've tried to make it. I have tried everything. I have tried looking for work. I have tried selling PPE equipment. I have tried and begged for money. I have tried everything. And you and you and you and you start to question, y'all. You start to question, man. A lot of stuff. You start to question a lot of things fast, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to my sister's funeral, and I'm coming back home. My family um, will be here to pick me up Friday. And uh, my sister's funeral is Saturday. I wish you could make it go away, too. Me, too. Because nothing over the last couple of years has been positive in my life at all. I ask God every day, when, 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 when is something positive coming my way? When will financial stability come my way? Why am I always having to struggle? Why? Why? Is it that I'm not working hard enough? Is it that, you know? I don't know. I'm very depressed because I'm not able to do nothing to help my own family, let alone myself. During coronavirus, it's been hard to find work and invest. And um, like I told my uncle, I deal with a lot of that trying to find work. I called my uncle several months ago crying. My uncle knows. I was having like a nervous breakdown out here. And I just wonder in my life how much more blows I can handle before I have a nervous breakdown or end up somewhere or worse.
It's not a good time. This is not a time of celebration. This hasn't been a year to celebrate anything. This has really been the worst year of my life. It's horrible. People say, no, I wish I could make it go away too. I do too. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's so much. And it's just so much burdens in my life. It's just so much. So much. From having to deal with being disabled to being left here alone, pretty much. Like I say, my other two siblings don't talk to me because they work and have jobs. They don't talk to me because they don't like me. They don't talk to me because they work. I'm not going to call my brother at, you know, an hour of the night. My brother works. Like I told people, we got a job. My sister has a job. So, so it's hard, and um, it's like I don't know what to say. Like, feel alone. Start to look around and question stuff. Sit around and question things. I'm going to my sister's funeral and I'm coming back home so that that way when I come back home, I'll probably come back home that Sunday um, and then Sunday night, um, I will be, uh, you know, my the pastor has stuff so he they know. So I will be talking and doing stuff with them also when I come back Sunday because I need counseling. It, it, it is going to take a Herculean effort because... Um, just don't know hurt I'm very hurt so have you tried Goodwill yep I've worked at Goodwill before it's not a good paying job it's great for beginners but I'm 34 years old Special Olympics use me to make millions of dollars, and I want millions of dollars, too. I shouldn't be used for people to make money off of me, and I ain't allowed to have nothing. Not allowed to work in certain industries. Not allowed to have a life or a job. Unless it's a job. I'm not going to work at Walmart and minimum wage jobs that don't pay shit. I would be a multimillionaire if I could get a company to sponsor me. I would be a multimillionaire. Why, you know what I mean? I'm a swimmer. Why would I want to work at Goodwill and I'm built like a truck? Uh, no. I want a job that has good medical benefits, oh God. I want a job, oh God, where I ain't sitting up here struggling, oh God. That is what I want. They used to help with job. Yeah, but their jobs that they place you at don't pay worth the down. I want money to where I can help my family, my brother, my sister financially, but I feel like a motherfucking loser because I ain't able to help nobody. I ain't able to help myself. I ain't able to help nobody. I ain't able to contribute to nothing in this world. Take, 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 take. Leo, 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 Leo. For what? Live on government programs. Live off of other people. That's what I mean when I say for what? Live on government programs. Live off other people. That's not a life that I want for myself. Working at minimum wage ass jobs. I can't pay my fucking bills. I can't pay my bills. I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for myself. I don't. 
I don't want that for myself. Like I told my brother, I could be a multimillionaire. I get the right company to manage me, a sports management company. I would be rich. Not not poor. Not a loser. Not feeling like I suck. Because today I feel like that. I can't contribute or help anybody. Contributing. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, people can't make it on that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm with you on that. You know, job placement. I, you know, I'm looking for a company, a sports management company. Somebody can actually pay me money. When you become a multimillionaire, you're not sitting up here struggling. If I was a multimillionaire, I would be able to help my family. I'm tired of living and struggling every motherfucking day. I'm tired of being disabled. And can't fix it. My sister. Bam. Talked to me. When I was going through things in my life. When nobody else. But nobody else would talk to me. My uncle would talk to me. You know. And things like that. My sisters would talk to me. My brother would talk to me when they could, but they work. Can't call these people's jobs and all that, and they working. I can't do that. Can't call people when they working at places. But I'm very depressed because I know my potential. I don't want to work at a grocery store. I want to be able to provide for my family, my siblings. Don't care about anybody else, my siblings. That's it. And I told my sister, I, my sister, bam, I talked to her in September. And I told her, I said, I want to help my sister. Told her that. My sister told me over the phone that she's tired of struggling financially. And if I would have had a way to help my sister, it wouldn't have been like that. And I know everybody in my family, everybody, like they said, we all try to help. And they do. And they've helped me. You know? Um, but people ain't going to take care of you forever. I'm 34 years old. Try to stand on a solid foundation. Try to stand on financial stability. And that ain't never happened for me in my life. It has not happened for me. People give me promises and tell me if I sell this many of this. No, nope. I ain't seen no money since. People tell me I can go online and type in this and I'll be rich. People tell me you can make money through Facebook ads and all this. and I ain't seen no damn money since. And it makes me wonder on this earth, what is the purpose of me being here on it? On the motherfucking earth if I can't provide for myself. I'm going to repeat it again. What the fuck is my purpose if I can't motherfucking provide for myself financially? Because that is what you judge by. Your finances. Ain't nobody finna. People don't care when they rents due. They want their money. I don't want government assistance when I got it, but it helped. Yeah, somebody talked about that. They didn't want government assistance either. They didn't either. 
And they wrote more. Read says read more. That's what we pay taxes for. Somebody replies to help folks when they need it. Okay. Uh, I'm struggling. What most people are struggling. Yeah, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I get that. A lot of people are struggling right now, but I'm talking about before the pandemic. My motherfucking ass was motherfucking struggling. I hate that shit. People can use me to make millions of motherfucking dollars, but I can't even provide for my own self. Can't provide for my own family. But people using my likeness and image and my dead grandmother's story to make millions of dollars. What the fuck did I get? Eh, nothing. Put all over TV, though. And NBC5 by Special Olympics. What did I get? Eh, nothing. Didn't get anything. No money. No nothing. No help. It's the way life goes. When you're disabled, nobody gives a damn about you. <laughs> nobody cares. No one cares. And when you're disabled, you don't get the same opportunities as other people. Nobody cares. And by the way, you know, most people in my family, they're functional. They can function and do stuff on their own and they're independent and, you know, they can do stuff on their own. They can, you know, go to college and all that. I don't have opportunities like that. You know, some people drive trucks and all that and I'll never have those opportunities. People have jobs that I'll never be able to obtain or get or wealth or whatever. I'll never get it. So all I know in my life is I want better, and no matter how hard I step forward, I get pushed back. So it just seems like in my life nothing has not happened good in my life. So why, what, what, what am I here for if I cannot provide for myself? And that's something that I will be talking to a counselor about. We'll be talking to counseling about it Wednesday. And I remember talking to my counselor about that. Even when I got kicked out of Special Olympics, I even told her, why am I here on this earth, oh God, if I cannot provide for myself? I'm serious. When you can't provide for yourself and you're having to stand on government programs, how can I tell somebody else to do something or or anything when I'm on government programs. It hurts. Nobody can tell me how to feel right now or any of that. I hurt as a person. As a person, I hurt. I hurt because I feel like my life on this earth has been a motherfucking waste. A motherfucking waste. A motherfucking waste. That's what the fuck I feel. What my life has been. Not talking about other people. Me. Haven't got any money. Except for government programs. If it was not for government programs. I would be dead or on the streets. Or homeless. Dead on the streets or homeless. Or whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry. Dead on the streets homeless or in jail. Excuse me. If it wasn't for the government. I would be dead homeless. On the streets or in jail. Or whatever you want to call it. And I sit here and wonder about a lot. I sit here and I worry about now my future because the very person that was going to help me, my sister was going to help me when I was talking about moving to Dallas. She helped me and sent me a list of places that she thought I would be able to move into. My sister Baum did that. My sister sent me resources about Dallas. She did. Because I was talking about moving there to be closer to my family. It hurts. Because people think I don't want to be closer to my family. No, I live 
on government on the uh, on uh, social security. You don't get a lot of money. You don't have a life. I deal with being depressed. I deal with feeling hopeless. I haven't had a break from that. Even when I got kicked out of Special Olympics, I didn't get a break from that. Dealt with depression. I got kicked out of Special Olympics September of last year. Depression is very real. And I'm very hurt. Because I don't know why these things keep happening to me and never able to achieve nothing. It's people... Younger than me and got money. What the fuck do I have to show in this world? Not a fucking thing. Medals? What are medals? People tell me, well, you got to go to who cares? Who gives a fuck about going to World Games? Where the fuck the money at? Shit, my sister got a child. Where the money at? It's much more serious things than some fucking Special Olympics that I ain't paying my -bye -bye motherfucking bills. Want to be able to take care of my family. Shit. Want to take care of my family. So that my family can do what they want to. I dream the day that I wish I could say, hey, here is $50,000. Would be nice. I love my brother's. I love my brother and my sister and wish I could help them. That's real talk. You know, that's real talk. I'm not on here to bash my sisters or my brother, none of that. I'm here to say I wish I could talk to them. Wish I could hear their voices. That's it. That's not bashing nobody. That is saying, I wish I could hear the voices of my siblings. A but, um, if, if, you know, if they don't talk to me all week, then they work. Then I'll know they have a job. I can't make people talk to me that cannot or, can, or won't because they work. I can't, I can't make people do things. Sorry. I miss my family. I miss my sister, Bam. I cried when uh, my auntie panned the camera around. I believe anyone with disabilities would get assistance. You deserve help to level the field. Please don't even be okay, getting assistance. The system is unfair for people with the system is horrible for people with disabilities. It makes you question your life and life purpose. I ain't been able to achieve shit in my life financially. Shit in my life. What the fuck do I get? A government check and I'm a loser. I don't get up every day and earn my check. I don't get up every day and earn nothing. Earn my shit is what the fuck I want. Want a fucking job. It's what the fuck I want. Want to be able to provide for myself. That's what the fuck I want. Want a car someday to be able to drive down the road. That's what the fuck I want. So I ain't taking public transportation. That's what I want. Want money someday that I don't have to fiddle and wonder, man, do I have it? No. I want money and a job. It says, hi, Ashton. Let's see what somebody wrote right here. Hi, Ashton. I saw some of the live videos from the first and uh, just had part of the first one. I am so sorry. Yeah, no doubt. It's hard. Uh... Pain, yeah, I, I deal with a lot of pain in my life. I deal with a lot of pain, so much so that I question why am I here. And I really hope that I can find that answer somewhere in a Bible. Because there ain't no other books out here that I can turn the page and figure out 
Why the hell I'm here for? What am I here for? What am I here on this earth for is what I question. Because nothing has worked out financially for me. And in this world, right here, you need fucking money to live. Money. And if you don't got it, your life sucks like mine. Cannot help my family. Cannot help anybody. I'll see my family and them on Friday going to my sister's funeral and going home. I ain't trying to go up there and talk about a bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to ask people why they don't and do it up. Nothing to get in all in. I'm going to my sister's funeral. After that funeral, I want to go right back home. And I meant that. Going through a lot in my own life. And the reason I want to go to her funeral and come home is so I, on that Sunday I can unwind and be ready uh, for my interview and things I need to do on Monday. Seriously. Because after my sister's funeral, I'm going to want something to drink. And it's hard, guys. It's, 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 it ain't easy to go through. Losing your grandmother, losing your cousin, losing your sister. I'm going to repeat that again. I've lost three people in my family in the last... 10 or 11 years, I've lost my cousin, I've lost my grandmother, I've lost my sister, and it's like how much more of a burden that you can, you can take. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, I just ask for y'all to pray for me because I'm just, I'm just very, very depressed and um. Just try to, like, pick up pieces, and that's what I'm trying to do right now, and don't really know where to go, where to turn, who to talk to. Everybody's busy, has a job, has a life, whatever. That's the way it goes. So, it's like when you try, and, you know, everybody, I guess, is, you know, has their phones turned off, I guess. I try to call my uncle, um... He might be driving literally a truck, so I'm not going to call him anymore. Um, I've tried to call my brother. He might be doing work somewhere. Haven't, you know, not going to keep calling him anymore. He might be working. And uh, my other, my sister, um, you know, is, is, is busy also because she took care of my sister, Bam. And so I haven't really called her because... She's busy, and I get that, and I respect that. That's different. You know, that's different. But I haven't heard from my other siblings is because they work and got jobs. That's not bashing nobody. That's not none of that. They work, and that's called life. And I just have to sit here and deal with depression and stuff and all of that. Nothing... Nothing good ever has happened for me. And I'm just tired. You know, you just get tired of going through the bleh, through the struggle. And that's me. I'm tired. Tired. And want something better. Tired of trying to be positive and everything is negative. Tired of being told to have a smile on my face when negativity is going on in my life. Even when I was in Special Olympics and somebody tried to kill me, talked about shooting me and hanging me. I got to have a smile on my motherfucking face while somebody talks about killing me. That's the motherfucking stress I've been under. Makes me question my life. Bet your people didn't know that. A white girl can talk about killing me. Makes you question your life and why you here. 
That's real talk. That's the type of stress I'm under. And my sister. I'm going to miss my sister. So, it's going to be hard. I ask y'all to pray for me. And let's see what somebody wrote. says, absolutely, I'll be praying. Oh, man, let's see what somebody wrote down here. Let me put a, so she knows that I acknowledge that. Thank you. There you go. It says, and if you need your family, tell them, have your, told them you need them right now. Yep, I've told my brother that I need him right now. Um, and um, they're all busy. I, you know, they all work. I mean, they, they're all, people are busy. They have their own lives. Um, my uncle, everybody, everybody has their own lives. And like I tell people, I can't just keep blowing up these people's phones and stuff, you know. And I, I don't, out of respect. I don't. I don't, I called them and whatever, and they don't answer, they don't answer, I, it's really hard, this has been one of the hardest times of my life, guys, I'm not going to lie, it really has been, I have never really talked on this Facebook thingy this much, but I don't have anybody to talk to right now, I don't have anybody, I don't, no, um, um, I don't have anybody to talk to right now, my, my, my boyfriend is, um, sleep, uh, cause I gotta get up in the morning, so, it's me. You know, I don't have anybody to talk to. You no, know, they got to get up in the morning and just, they got to work. People's lives continue. They have to work and do things. And, um, you know, this is a weekday. You no, know, my brother works. My sister works. I can't, you know, I, I don't know what else to, to tell people. They have jobs. They got jobs. You know, I ain't bashing nobody. I don't want nobody in the family mad at me or nothing. But I'm depressed. This is the only way I have to get my anger out is talking. I don't want to do nothing much worse. I'd rather talk. So that's why I'm talking on here. So I don't have nobody to talk to. Everybody grieves differently. I grieve through talking. You can ask my aunt Ann. She'll tell you I used to talk a lot when I was a kid. Oh, God knows. Upon closing, I come to God. Because I always pray to Jesus. Heavenly Father, I ask that you watch over my family. I ask that um, you give them the opportunity, my brother and my sister, the opportunity to talk to me when time is available. Because I miss hearing their voice. It's, I ask you, oh, Heavenly Father, that things work out in my life because I don't know how much more of these... Um, I don't know how to say this, how much more of these uh, situations or, or um, burdens or whatever that I can take. I'm only a human. You sit here and give everything, oh God, to you. I try. I'm only human. I know that in my life it's not easy. God never said it would be, but I am dealing with too much. I'm dealing with too much. In my life that is negative and not enough positive on the scale. That's the only way I can explain it. When will I have something positive happen in my life? It has not. I'm physically fit but feel like a loser because I'm not able to take what God gave me and make anything from it. I'm not able to provide for my own family let alone myself. I hate the fact that I'm on disability because you can't provide nothing for nobody with that situation. You can't do anything for anybody when you're disabled like me. And my sister helped me a lot walk through all of this stuff with being disabled. My sister... Encouraged me to try to push forward. She's not here anymore. And um, it's hard when she's not here. And it's going to be a hard road for me. Because that's who I talk to. 
And I was able to talk to my sister pretty much any time during the daytime. Um, you know, <laughs> I love you too. It's hard, um, tonight, cause usually this is the time of night that I talk to my sister before she goes to bed. <laughs> Every night I talk to my sister. Every night when she go to bed. And I guess I'm taking it really hard. Because I haven't been around my sister a lot. I have not been around my sister a lot. And this time of night is when I would call my sister and um, and tell her good night. This time of night right here. And I don't know why God puts all these burdens on my life. And I really don't know what purpose it serves. Because I feel like I'm being punished for no reason. And I don't blame God for that. This world is not fit for people like me. Yeah, it hurts. Somebody said it hurts. Yeah, it does. And um, it just seems like the world, this world is not made for somebody like me because... When you're disabled, it's just not a lot of opportunities in it. It's not an opportunity to get jobs and things. It's just hard, guys. And it's like I'm being pushed to my breaking point as a person. And it's like I just feel like walking off and never coming back home. That's how I feel, just walking off and never coming back home. Because it's so hard and so difficult in this life. And I just don't know how to deal with it. At this time, I come to God. The time now is 10.42 p.m. Dallas-Fort Worth. Dallas Fort Worth's Central Time Zone, Dallas Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. It's been um, difficult for me. My sister died. And it's hard. Huh. It's very hard. I pray and know that God can do anything. But it's hard. <sighs> it says, um, God's amazing when we. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a miracle. Haven't had it in, in almost 30 years. Came in this world with problems, with disabilities. <sighs> And people that come in this world with no disabilities, it's like, what is your problem? I'm not trying to hear excuses from people who don't have disabilities. I came in this world with a disability. And my reader told me my disability was so bad that I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk. Things like that, like basic stuff. Eating, all of those things. Didn't know all that. I was, um, when I came into this world, they, you know, my reader told me they gave me a year or two years or something to live. Like, let's be real, y'all. And I've had to overcome all that. And still in my life, I feel like I'm punished. I ain't shit happened positive in my life. Yeah, I'm here, I'm alive, but I'm broke. What the fuck kind of life is that? Let's be real. 
that is not a life that I wanted. I didn't want to grow up and say, yeah, I'd like to be disabled. No. Does anybody, is anybody wearing glasses besides me and my sister? No. My sister Bam and myself, we wear glasses. Everybody else, most people in my family don't have disabilities like me. So, I just don't know what to do and say. It's like, I know it never worked out in my life. It really has not. Special Olympics is nowhere to be found. Ain't no money. Ain't no condolences. Ain't no we're sorry. Ain't no we care. Nope. Ain't no none of that we care about. No. Only thing they care about is making motherfucking money off me. Don't care about my life. Don't care about none of that. Made money off my grandmother's story. And I'm going to let my family know that too. And they can sue Special Olympics. Sure can. And I'm sure going to let my family know about that. How that organization used my grandmother to get money. And now it helped me. Yup. I'm going to let my Aunt Rita know. And she can file a lawsuit herself against them. Because I'm tired of it. It's tired of, of living. Tired of dealing with all of these issues. And I don't know. I ask people to pray for me. Just a lot. God bless y'all. I see somebody came on. I ask that you pray for me, whoever this is that came on. Uh, pray for me. It's a lot. It's a lot. Pray for me, you too. Pray for me, y'all.